Ambition to me means going after your dreams with um, absolute full commitment. So it's, it's your dream and you're going after it and the ambition that drives that is the motivating factor and force behind you actually being ambitious and achieving what you want. And would you say that you are ambitious? Yes. I think I'd also say that compared to a lot of New Zealanders I meet, I'm in the upper tier of ambitious. I'm not off the Richter scale. I definitely used to be more ambitious when I was younger, a little bit more grounded these days. But compared to a lot of New Zealanders that I meet, one of the things that has always been a bugbear for me is their lack of ambition or their lack of ability to stand behind something and be proud of it. Right. And what makes you different and what makes you this way uh partly i think potentially a bit of an international background with my parents and being exposed to different cultures but just um, a desire and self-belief to do more in this world and be better and not hide away behind things so i'm all about i love humility in people and i love the humble attitude of kiwis but i think they should stand behind some of the amazing work that they do a lot more and i just feel it should be celebrated not seen as something that is something you shouldn't talk about or brag about. Right, and and you mentioned international background. Is there anything else that means that you are different in some way? Like... Uh, probably just an innate sense of being from when I was young. I mean, I'm yeah. pretty competitive, and I don't always necessarily think that means you're going to be ambitious, but just wanting to be a better person and everything that I do, wanting to do it better, because um, I think that's how you grow and that's how you expand. Right. Yeah. And who's the most ambitious person that you know? Personally, that I know personally, because I was going to say Oprah Winfrey is pretty damn ambitious. Like, if you look back on her path to mm-hmm. success, she had every single obstacle thrown in front of her, and yet she just kept going. Very resilient, very motivated. Um, personally, in New Zealand, I mean, I think people like Rod Drury, who's just just a technology fiend and has continued to, to push um, and has built an incredible company. Um, obviously, the Tyndalls and um, lovely little Sam from Trade Me. Um, and even people like uh, Michelle, I'm so sorry, what is her last name? Dickinson. Yes, thank you. Like Michelle Dickinson is an amazing example of taking her science talents and her experience and skills and actually building it into a brand and really putting herself out in front of people mm-hmm. and being very ambitious with it. Okay. And the last question, what would enable you to be more ambitious, to set bigger goals or to strive for more? better structure, better foundations, better support in the New Zealand um, system Mm -hmm. um, and environment and more access to people who are already doing incredible things and very, very successful in their own right so that you can model off them because you are the sum of the five people you hang out with most. So Mm -hmm. if you're playing with people who are up here, you're going to rise to that as well. So that would be super helpful to being more ambitious. Following on from what I said about Michelle Dickinson, the reason why I think she's ambitious Um, is that she's doing this for the greater good of spreading her message far and wide to the masses. And I think a lot of people associate ambition with ego and selfishness, but in this case she has to be the Pied Piper in order to educate all these people about science. And nobody else is going to initially give her the step up unless it's her. So you have to toot your own horn initially in order to get scale, in order to educate, in order to let your message reach the masses. And that is not a selfish or ego-driven thing. That is fundamental to to marketing and awareness so and i think that gets mixed up with ambition being very ego focused and selfish